question here from an introvert, a sensitive, highly sensitive person who asked me, uh, what kind of business model would I recommend if, say, 10 coaching sessions a week, which, you know, for a lot of people who are one-to-one -one service providers, something like 10 sessions per week is what they might need to have a full-time income. And so if we want a full-time income, but we are more introverted or, or sensitive and the 10 sessions a week would be overwhelming for us, what business model would I recommend, right? I just actually recently spoke about this with a client. So I, it's still fresh on my mind. And that client has been doing not 10 sessions, but you know, that client has figured out like, uh, I forgot what the number was, but, but she was able to do something like six talking appointments per week, <laughs> you know, and then she would be, she would be too tired. And the talking appointments would include, I don't remember six or seven or something. And it needed to include client sessions as well as meeting with colleagues, you know, as well as um, sometimes even, you know, doing group calls, you know, teaching courses, whatever, like she had a, a, a maximum number of talking sessions before her energy was drained. And so it's very wise question to ask, I think, to, to think about this. So uh, in my business planning class, I, you know, gave you a template to calculate your different sessions and prices and therefore how much money you would make per month and then be able to adjust how many sessions that you would do per month and per week and that kind of thing. And so I'll let you play with the spreadsheet to figure out how many sessions you need. But of course, like, you know, back to the original question, if you, if the spreadsheet said you had to do 10 sessions a week to make a full-time income, it's overwhelming. So remember that my business model doesn't include just one-to-one -one sessions. And I'm going to go ahead and show you um, show you uh, a diagram now. Some of you have seen this, but uh, business model authentic solopreneur. Hopefully, if you Google this, it will bring it to the right place. Um, maybe now. Oh, there it is. Simple model. So <laughs> you'll be doing me the favor if you Google that <laughs> and then click on my link because then Google will say, hey, this is a, a, a vote up for this. All right. So um, this diagram, I think a lot of you have seen this, but it's always, it's always worth uh, re repeating, right? One-on-one um, -on -one clients is closest to you, meaning it takes the most energy from, from you, right? So if that was your only income you know, uh, product or, or service, then it takes a lot of your energy and time. But what about group programs? What about online courses? And to a very small extent, books make a little bit of money every month. Uh, I, I hope none of you here are, are, are immediately thinking, books, that's where I can make my money because imagine Amazon is so big and imagine if only 1% of Amazon bought my book. That's not usually how it works. I have a, probably a larger audience than most of you and I have four self-published books on Amazon and I make from my books less than 100 US dollars per month. And I'm a pretty good marketer. So just FYI, and I'm not the only one who says these kinds of numbers. Books will make you a few dozen dollars per month, probably, or if you're lucky, a few hundred dollars per month, but usually not. I mean, for most people, I've never rarely, rarely heard more than that. And the people who sell you on, oh, books can make you thousands because they're selling you a course on book and book market, book writing and marketing, right? But real, anyway. So online courses for sure <clears throat> uh, can make, a lot of money. I make, uh, I would say, yeah, I'm going to say most of my money comes from online courses. Um, you know, uh, just, just the evergreen courses that I sell, meaning the ones that I'm not even launching right now, just the ones that are on my website, people find it in some way and buy it without me even marketing it at all, make $2,000 a month, just, just the evergreen stuff, not even the launches, sometimes up to 3000 or more per month. But Usually about two thousand is two two to three thousand is average twenty five hundred these days per month pretty pretty darn good. When I do a launch, a typical launch of a course, which I used to do every single month, I used to launch a new course, was five thousand dollars on average. Actually, for like six or seven thousand average per month when I launch a course. And you know my launches are pretty gentle. I only send two emails, two emails. That's it to my whole list, and then I do a couple of social media. So online courses are a big money maker, uh, which is why you see. Even the people who teach you how to write books are selling online courses, right? So uh, group programs, 
is um, something that's a little bit harder, I mean, it's harder to make enough money with um, unless you have a bigger audience. I mean, even with online courses, you kind of need uh, the larger your audience, obviously, the more it's possible. But group programs, I would say my group programs, if you look at my income, my group programs make me the most money, monthly income. But it's really because a lot of people who join my group programs get access to all my online courses, right? Like constantly people say, well, yeah, I'm, I'm part of MasterHeart because I get access to all your courses as well. They're really buying my courses, except they're my monthly group, you know, my, my group program. So finally, the one-on-one -on -one clients, I, you know, it's interesting. I have become more and more introverted over the years. Um, I was going to say I become more highly sensitive, but maybe that's not true because I've got thicker skin from all my marketing over the years. <laughs> so I'm like less sensitive now than I was before to all the nasty comments I sometimes get uh, or all the discouraging results in marketing that all of us experience. So I have a thick skin now, but, but I, I am more introverted. I just, uh, so I, I, I only see on average, on an average week, I see two clients per week only and for half an hour each time. Two half hour appointments, one-on-one -on -one per week. That's my business model now because majority of my work is done in a group or in the courses. So um, that's basically, so, so to the introverted person, I know you might say, well, George, I don't have a big enough audience to sell even you know, three course sales a month. Okay, okay. that's why we gotta work on it. We gotta, we gotta work on your audience building. That's so important, so important, right? And in the beginning, when you don't have a, enough an audience yet to even sell three, you know, three, three sales a month of your course, um, in the beginning, you do start with one-on-one -on -one because it's easier to get one person. It's, it's easier to get three people to pay you, you know, $200 a month, let's say, for example, and make $600 a month. I mean, I'm just starting with very, very tiny, tiny, tiny in the beginning, right? Let's say you get three people to pay you $200 a month, that you, so you're making $600 a month. To make $600 a month in course sales, that's much harder, right? Or even to have a group program of 10 people paying $60 a month, that's much harder than getting three people to make a decision, right? So in the beginning, it is necessary, I think, um, for most of us to just get one-on-one -on -one clients and just, 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 just to know that, you know what, if, if you're introverted, if, if you can only have you know, five sessions per week, that's your maximum energy. You are capping your income, but you have to realize that that's, that's your business model. You can't do more than five sessions a week. And whatever your rate is, maybe you can't charge more than $200 a month per client. But I'll challenge you on that because maybe you start at $200 per month per client, right? Or $100 or $150 or whatever it is. And you're making, you know, however much you can make with, with five sessions per, per week. Now you've maxed out on that. Now the question is, if you actually did max out, if you're maxing out on your number of sessions per week, then it's time to raise your rates. Meaning if the, the sixth person who wants to work with you that week says, oh, sorry, I've already, I, I can't, I, you know, I'm all booked. Well, that means you, it's time to raise your rates. Now, instead of $200 a month, now you got to charge $250 a month for new clients, for your existing clients, give them three months notice. Say, hey, existing clients, you get my $200 a month rate for the next six, three months, and then it's going to be $250. I'm, I'm already charging $250 for new clients, so you're already getting a good deal, right? So now you raise your rates to $250. Now you just increase your income by 25% a month. So step one, yes, you know, um, boundary, how many sessions you have so that you can watch your energy. Step two, raise your rates once you have the maximum. Step three, once you are, once you've raised your, raising your rates is the quickest way to make money, right? Because you, you know, you still have your clients and then they just pay you more. It's the simplest way to make more money, raise your rates. But once you raise your rates, let's say you've, you've gone, went from 200 to 250, 300, 350, 400, blah, blah, blah. And now you're at 500. Okay. Maybe you raised your rates over a couple of years. Now you're at 500 a month and you feel like, you know, I think I'm going to stay at 500 a month. Maybe you didn't raise it that slowly. Maybe it was like 200 and 250 first. And then from 250 to 350, right? And then from 350 to 500. So however you raise your rates, it's fine. But now you're at a, an upper limit where you're like, you know what? I've noticed that people are starting to shy away from working with me because they can't afford more than $500 a month or they can't even afford $500 a month. So maybe 450 was my, 
you know, what I'm comfortable with and what my, what I've noticed my market, my immediate market is comfortable with. Okay. Now you're at a maximum limit and you're still at the maximum limit of how many sessions per week because of your energy. Good. Okay. Now it's time to do group programs, right? Now it's time to go back to the business model and says, you know, I've already maxed out the number of sessions and the rate that I can comfortably charge at this time, right? With one-on-one clients. Now it's time for group programs. Now, Let's say your rate is 400 a month per one-on-one client. And you notice that some people are inquiring with you, but like 400 a month, ah, sorry, I can't afford it. That's where your group program comes in. If you're starting to hear from person after person, oh, I can't afford your one-on-one. That's the market telling you, please offer us a group program. Because instead of paying you $400 a month for your one-on-one, maybe your group program is $100 a month. It's one-fourth the price. Right? And they still get access to you. However you structure your group program, maybe it's a weekly call or whatever. If you want to see how I structure my group program as an example, you know, I'm not saying my group program is perfect, but you can always go to my website, go to services, um, go to group mentoring, and you'll literally see uh, what, how my group program is structured because I, I explain everything here, right? how my group program is structured. So group program is next. And then once your group program, you know, is hitting an upper limit, people are saying, oh, I can't afford your group program. <laughs> Even though $100 a month is much better than $400 a month for your one-on-one, I still can't afford $100 a month or $50 a month for your group program, whatever the rate is. And that's the trigger for you, the market signal to say, oh, can you sell us a one-time? Instead of, instead of me paying you $100 a month for your group, group program, can I pay you one-time $100, you know, to, to buy a course from you? That I can do. I don't think I can commit to one year of $100, but I can buy a $100 course for you. You see? So that's how we uh, grow our income and our impact while still maintaining our energy, self-care, and time management. So I hope this helps and feel free to comment below if you have any questions.